what I'm doing here is screwing in my one inch nozzles into my planter box. One hole is going to be my exit hole for water, and one hole is going to be my entrance hole for water. finger tight. Align it with the holes that I put in the table. Now all I have to do is let the silicone dry and we come back and connect all the hoses. Now that the silicone is dry on the three holes that I've drilled, and the three nozzles that I've put in, two of the nozzles here in the planter and one of the nozzles here on my reservoir. This nozzle is going to be an exit for the water, so I'm going to connect one of my vinyl hoses here, take a zip tie, tighten it up right on the nozzle. Now with the other end, Put the reservoir right back here for safekeeping. And I'm going to put the other end into one of the nozzles here on the planter box. Now with the other hose, I'm going to attach one end to this pump and I'm going to place it into the reservoir tank. Then with the end of this hose, I'm going to hook it up to the planter box and it's going to be the water entrance. That's where water is going to get pumped into. I'm going to use this five inch piece of three quarter outer diameter hose and I'm going to put it in the end of the nozzle. At the top of this, I'm going to cut myself a piece of screen and I'm going to zip tie it around so none of these little rocks will get caught in the hose. When the water level reaches this level, it's going to automatically drain back to the reservoir tank. Now on this hole over here, I'm going to place a little piece of screen down so the rocks don't get caught up in there. And like I said, that's where the water is going to get pumped in. With all the hoses attached, I zip tie them down so I don't get any leaks. This pump pumps the water in this tank up into this planter through this hole right here. The planter fills up with water. When it gets to this level, it goes in this hose all the way down and returns back into the tank. When the pump shuts off, this, which is the entrance hose, also acts as an exit hose. So all the water is drained from the planter. The roots need oxygen to breathe. All that's left is to plug the pump into the timer that's been set for three times a day and plug the timer into the wall. Well, all right, my flowering room is almost done. 
I've got my oscillating fan and my squirrel cage fan. I have plenty of air movement. I have a 400 watt high pressure sodium light. It's going to be perfect for flowering big buds. And I have a hydroponic system that waters my plants really efficiently. All I need now to make this room perfect is CO2. I'm happy again. I'm happy this time because it's really easy to set up a CO2 tank. After locating myself one of these adapter pressurizer air nozzle things and picking up one of these CO2 tanks, I can easily set up this air hose around where my plants are going to grow. Now I'm going to poke holes in the little black plastic tube. This way, when the CO2 is turned on, it goes right to the plants. Now I can plug this unit into this timer. I have a timer program for three times a day. It turns on for about an hour and it fills this room with CO2. I also turn the fans off for that hour so the plants can get really saturated with the juice. Once I plug this into the wall and it's turned on, the CO2 comes through this hose, loops around the plants, and oozes out of these little holes. This is a really good setup. It's a really good system. If I didn't have the money for this, well, I would just use bubbly water and a sprayer. I can spray this on the plants and they'll get CO2 all day long. Actually, I do both. I'm done. I finished my vegetative grow room imitating the long days of summer and I have finished my flowering room which imitates fall and winter time. I'm growing. Uh, just finishing up an order for new seed here on the internet. I know if I start with bunk seed, I'm going to get nothing but dirt weed. To avoid this, I always buy the best seeds available. I get them off the internet, in the magazines, or in any of the local coffee shops here around town. I've already picked up some White Widow and AK-47. And I'm going to start by germinating them first. Using distilled water, I fill up the cups with a little. I grab myself my gear.